हेलो सर आई एम प्रकाश वास्तव अलॉन्ग विद माई प्रोजेक्ट पार्टनर कन्हैया है कुमार एंड सोम मॉडल आई एम गोइंग टू डेमोस्ट्रेट आवर प्रोजेक्ट विच इज वेदर प्रोडिक्शन ऑफ मेट्रोपोलिटन सिटीज यूजिंग योगा सर वी हैव सेलेक्टेड द सुपरवाइज लर्निंग एल्गोरिदम न्यूरल नेटवर्क्स फॉर दिस प्रोजेक्ट इन आवर प्रोजेक्ट वी हैव चूजन द डेटा सेट्स ऑफ फोर सिटीज विच आर कोलकाता चेन्नई डेली एंड जमशेदपुर एवरी डेटा सेट कंटेन्स ऑफ कंसिस्ट ऑफ जनरल फील्ड लाइक डेट मैक्सिमम टेम्परेचर प्रेसिपिटेशन एंड सोलर नोन एंगल एट्सेट्रा द आइडिया ऑफ यूजिंग न्यूरल नेटवर्क फॉर दिस प्रोजेक्ट इज ऑप्टेन बाई अ बुक नेम न्यूरल नेटवर्क प्रोग्रामिंग यूजिंग जावा अलॉन्ग विद दैट बुक दे प्रोवाइडेड एस अ पैकेज ऑफ न्यूरल नेटवर्क पैकेज ऑफ न्यूरल नेटवर्क इम्प्लीमेंटेशन इन दैट पैकेज देर आर मेनी क्लासेज विच provide support and uh, which provide a structure of how neural networks are implemented among them four four three main classes are neurons so this class defines the artificial neuron how an artificial neuron look like these neurons are the core entity of neural network where processing takes place it consists of five attributes input weight bias activation function and output and another class is neural layer class Neural layer class is an abstract class which defines the layer architecture of how one layer of a neural network should look like. Basically, in neural layers, two, uh, three layer. Basically, we have three layers. First is input layer, second is output layer, and between input and output layer, there can be n number of hidden layers. Another class is neural net class. In neural net class, uh, is responsible of the main implementation of artificial neural networks so how a neural network should look like and how neural network works it all functions and responsibilities of a neural net class along with the classes we have an i activation function in interface we define the structure of activation function usually we have used sigmoid activation function in a in our in neuron so how neural network works initially the weights are having some fixed values uh, so what are weights weights are an additional parameters linked on channel between neurons of two layers when we feed input to neuron on input layer the input are fired up using activation function to the next layers then weighted sum is felt by neurons of another layer sorry uh, neurons of next layer with an addition of bias this whole thing is uh, the input of one neuron of the hidden layer this input is passed to the activation function of hidden layer and output is sent to the next layer at last at last layer which is the output layer only one neuron correspond and give answer among all so in our project in my project the back propagation algorithm is used to reduce the errors between the neural network output and the data data set output so how back propagation works in one go from input layer to output layer some output is generated from the neural networks from we match it with our output which is the testing output we do match it with our testing output and calculate the cost function cost function is a summation of the generated uh, the actual output minus generated output Whole square. Then from output to input layer, back back propagation is done. During this traversal, all the weights from output to input layer are modified with a factor. Reaching to the input layer again, forward propagation takes place and generate another output on the basis of modified weights. This thing goes on and on unless the cost function yields a zero value, which states no error or exact output of exact output of neural network with our data now i rest my part the rest of the project uh, and its working will uh, will be continued by my fellow teammates thank you hello sir this is sovan mondal till now prakar did explanation on what is neuron layer activation function and all that Now I am going to explain the code very briefly. First, we have implemented this neuron class, which demonstrates the very similar abstract basic structure like a neuron. 
In this neuron class, we have used an array list to hold up weight similar for the input and the output and also for the also for the activation function. Now let's see the neural layer. From this neural abstract layer, we have implemented three more essential layer for this uh, for the neural network that is input layer hidden layer and output layer now in this weather gui class we have extended the jpanel class of the string library we have used frame gui levels checkbox text box patterns etc to demonstrate our project further we have declared our data set kolkata Chennai, Delhi, and Jamshedpur. Then we have implemented all the necessary parameters. Here we can see the maximum number of epochs we want to train our neural network. And finally, we have implemented a button named Start Training to start the training of our neural model. Now, I'm going to show you the weather example delay class, which is the main class of our project. And here, and here this class is being used to input the necessary columns from the training dataset and also from the test dataset. Also, here we can see the implementation of the neural network that is the number of input is h and the number of output is 3 that is by default and then and then we have used our already implemented back propagation algorithm and using that back propagation algorithm we have called our train method to train our neural network and finally after the completion of the training we get the result as minimum overall error overall general error and the accuracy of the training and finally as we can see Throughout the project, we have taken help from a book of neural network processing in Java and used the given EDU package with the book. We have used this EDU package and its internal packages. And now I'm going to finish my demonstration of the code. And then one of my fellow teammates, Kanaya, is going to elaborate the execution and the training of the neural network. Thank you. Hello, good evening, sir. This is Kanaya Kumar. Till now, my project partner Prakash Srivastava and Suvan Mandal has explained what is neuron layer activation, back propagation function, and briefly demonstration of code. Now I am going to explain the execution and training of the neural networks. Here we are going to run the program and after running the program we can see that here a dialog box appears and here we can see the data set initially in the video we have taken the data set of four cities Kolkata, Chennai, Delhi, Jamshedpur. Now I am going to select here Jamshedpur now here you can see neurons in hidden layer neurons in hidden layer uh, neurons in hidden layer here uh, and here you can see number of neurons in hidden layer because our project has three layer architecture in which input layer output layer and hidden layer here we can select how much number of neuron select in the hidden layer so here we are going to select eight number of neurons okay now after that here we can see learning rate uh, when we have applied back propagation uh, algorithm 
then the learning rate through the back propagation is shown by this parameter okay and uh, this parameter is between 0 to 1 so now we are selecting uh, learning rate propagation 0. Point, uh, and uh, learning rate 0. 0.28 okay and now here we can see moment rate in gradient descent algorithm through it moment rate we search local minima from this our neural network can give optimal output here we are uh, selecting uh, momentum rate uh, 0 0.38 and after that we can see here data normalization basically we have discussed about uh, data normalization data normalization is a technique which is used to original value to recycling values of data normalization is of basically two types mean max normalization and z score normalization mean max normal uh, mean max normalization is a original distribution of score except a scaling factor and transformed all the score of common mean between 0 and 1 and z score normalization is find by getting arithmetic and standard deviation of data now here we can see maximum of epochs now here you can see that maximum of epochs it is the process of cycling from one input layer to output layer and output layer to input layer the whole cycle is called epochs so here we are taking maximum of epochs uh, 100 okay after that uh, uh, we can see that here uh, minimum overall error so uh, here there is a question what is minimum overall error or minimum overall error uh, overall error it is decided how much minimum error should be in the testing data and original data if our minimum overall error is 0 0.01 then our system is stop and now here we start training just uh, here we are clicking in start training after clicking on a start training you can see that here uh, different dialog box appears and uh, here you can see that the different number of epochs are presenting in the graph chart form okay you can see that here the uh, in the epochs we are going to explain the uh, 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 blue line and red lines in the graph okay blue line is the output of testing data and red line predict how much output should be here through this we can say that our neural network how much efficient and how much its accuracy okay now uh, uh, we are going to explain another dialog box here we can see that uh, uh, here we can see that uh, now here you can see that uh, error evolution okay now i am going to explain error evolution uh, uh, in error evolution we can clearly see that graph is plotting between training uh, error and testing errors okay and initially you can uh, say that uh, see that uh, error is maximum approx 0.8 it but after uh, after gradually uh, proceeding down we can see our error is getting less okay and after that uh, we as uh, we have seen here error evolutions and uh, going to explain here comparison epochs uh, here uh, blue lines and red lines uh, so that the difference between the uh, comparison neural networks and after that here we uh, here we have seen error evolutions initially error evolution has 0.28 and after gradually uh, we can see that error um, evolution uh, getting very less and uh, we can say that uh, as per proceeding this uh, it getting very less now here we can see that another dialog box appear a scattered plot okay in the scattered plot uh, we can see for epoch error maximum but gradually our neural network are trained that getting is less and a uh, testing now we see that scattered plot graph this is the distribution 
of data between maximum temperature and neural maximum temperature it is the scattering of our data points now here we can see epoch's error is maximum gradually or neural network has trained that hour now uh, after minimizing that we can see the console here you can see that initially for uh, you can see here uh, for zero epoch uh, error um, is maximum and gradually our neural network is uh, has working then uh, then you can see that for uh, maximum epochs uh, overall error and testing error is very less and uh, um, training was unsuccessful training was unsuccessful because testing error is more than overall error when the testing error is less than the overall error then uh, training is successful and here minimum overall error between overall error and testing error is 0 0.01 so our system is stop here and now i'm going to uh, finishing my video thank you sir